Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today I've got another electric scooter unboxing for you. This time it's the CSC Wiz, a faster, more urban oriented electric moped or scooter. Let's open it up and check it out. All right, you guys ready? Ta-da! All right, so the Wiz, it's more of a, a typical electric moped, like you think of more of a Vespa style. It doesn't have some of the flair of the CSC Monterey. But the nice thing is it goes faster. It goes up to, I think, 42 or 43 miles an hour. So it's a little more useful on faster roads. And it turns out I wasn't the only one admiring the Wiz because this friendly stranger walked up to check it out with me and chat me up about electric vehicles. Looks nice. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll be fun. That's great. Yeah, it's electric. It's new. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, it doesn't even use gas. Right. Yeah, I'm thinking of getting myself uh, one of those tadpoles. Oh yeah, I've seen those. Those are great. Those are nice. Yeah, those, they're fun too. Yeah, this will go a little faster, I'm sure. A little bit, yeah. This goes like uh, 42, 43. Yeah, those are set to go over 20, so they don't need license and things like that. Yeah, well, a trike, you don't want to go too fast anyways. Right, yeah. yeah. Man, wouldn't the world be a better place if there were just more friendly strangers out there ready to make conversation? So I think this is the trunk that goes on the back. All right, I think we're free here, but we're not moving. I think the brakes are held in this wrapping. There we go, yeah, the, the brakes are held down. That'll keep it from going anywhere. All right, now let's get this bad boy out of here. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so it looks like I've got a little more work to do here. I put the mirrors, the box on, but uh, then we're gonna go take it for a test ride. So I guess I'll start with letting you know the major questions right away. How fast, how far, how much? As I mentioned, you're looking at around the low 40s of mile per hour here, though the speedometer does read a bit high, it's kind of optimistic. So don't believe that you're going 50 plus miles an hour, it's really a bit less. In terms of how far, you've got somewhere around 30 to 40 miles, or about 50 to 65 kilometers for those of you that speak metric. Basically this is just for the city, it's, you know, for getting around, running errands, and perhaps having some fun in the city, but you're not going to be going for long cruises on the highway. At least not longer cruises than 30 miles and not anything more than a urban highway. But I think for most people, 30 to 40 miles is probably enough for basic city use. There are always going to be those killjoys that say if it doesn't go 100 miles then they don't want it and okay fine, whatever, don't buy this scooter, I don't care. But the vast majority of people aren't scooting 100 miles in a day and that's the type of rider that I think they built the CSC Wiz for. Also, I'm basically riding this thing full speed all the time because I'm riding in Florida here and the roads are somehow as wide as they are long, but if you were in a more densely populated city and you'd be going a bit slower, you'd probably get well over 40 miles of range since you wouldn't be redlining it all the time like I am, just basically constantly riding it with the throttle all the way open. Now, when it comes to how much, the sticker price is 2,495 bucks, which is kind of amazing when you think about the fact that there are a lot of electric bicycles that cost more than that. Some e-bikes cost significantly more than that, like two, three, four times as much. Now you do have another 400 bucks thrown in there in different dealer fees. So all told, you're looking at around $2,900 by the time it shows up at your driveway in a big truck. And that trucking, by the way, is free. Or, well, at least it's included in the price since the scooter comes with free shipping in the U.S. Alright, so now back on the road, how does it ride? I really like how smooth it rides and how utilitarian it feels. It's not quite as smooth as that CSC Monterey was because the wheels are not as big and so you're going to feel bumps a bit more or when you go into divots you're going to sink in a little bit more but it's still a really great ride. The utility is the really awesome part though for me. 
It's got storage in that rear trunk, and then you've got a bit more storage under the seat, and then it's got even more storage in the front glove box area. Plus it's got a bag clip so you can hang bags in between your feet. And basically it's just, I mean, it's full of storage. I like to say that scooters feel kind of like the minivans of the motorcycle world to me, and this is definitely the case here. Now, when it comes to appearance of the scooter, again, it kind of uh, channels that minivan vibe. I mean, it's not a cool looking scooter, it, it doesn't look cool. The CSC Wiz is just hands down a utilitarian scooter. And so, to me, this is basically my perfect errand running and grocery getting scooter. Now, I'm a family of two, and so grocery trips on a scooter are actually possible for my wife and I. And also, there's two seats here, so she can even join me on rides. There's also some cool little fancy features including on the Wiz that I was not expecting, like this little ignition lock that you use the key to close, and it prevents someone from trying to jack with your ignition or steal your scooter. It's not the highest tech solution out there, but it's still pretty cool in my opinion. All told, for less than 3000 bucks, you're getting a pretty capable vehicle here. 40 plus miles an hour and plenty of range for daily tasks, motorcycle level parts like the brakes, tires, mirrors, etc. Plenty of storage. I mean, what's not to like? You don't even have to fill it up with gas. You will never buy gas again. Charging it is literally pennies. I mean, I think it's gonna be like, what, 10, 15 cents to charge this thing each time? I mean, that's kind of crazy. How much do you pay even to fill up with gas on a small scooter? Now, speaking of the fact that this has a lot of motorcycle level parts, I mean, these are all DOT approved parts, right? Like, you can't do this with cheap electric bicycle parts. But that also means that this might actually be a motorcycle level vehicle depending where you live, based on regulations, how fast it goes, that sort of thing. So you are going to have to check with your local laws. Many states do have moped laws though, that means you might not need a motorcycle license. Here in Florida this is technically a motorcycle class vehicle. I do have a motorcycle license so it's all good, but it is something that you're going to want to consider when looking at these types of scooters. Now if you do need to go that route, don't fret about it, you know, it's really easy to get your motorcycle license. It's usually like a two-day parking lot class, and it's actually pretty fun. You also learn some good skills and some riding techniques that will surely help you become a better rider. I learned plenty of things that I even apply to my electric bicycles, so it's definitely worth it if you've been toying around with the idea of getting your motorcycle license. So anyways, those are my thoughts on the CSC Wiz. Basically, it's an awesome scooter, it's fast enough to get you pretty much anywhere in a city, and it's super utilitarian. So thanks for watching guys. Last but not least, it's time to announce the randomly selected commenter that will win the giveaway from my last video. And the winner is... Bob. So congratulations, just let me know which one of my books you'd like, either DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or Electric Motorcycles, and let me know where to send it. And anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, just put a comment down below, say anything you want, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. If you don't want to wait that long, you can always find my books on Amazon. Alright, thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you next time.